Hi everybody, thanks for joining us here on Geek Tech Industries again. We're down here at Triple Play doing some gameplay recording, uh, getting ourselves set up for the uh, Black Moon Squadron League Season 2 coming up right away. Uh, so stick us here, and across from me I have Andrew, say hello. Hi. And so uh, we're each flying a bit of scum today. Uh, just give me a second here, I'm just going to switch to those lists. We're going to hyperspace our way into the battle here, and then... Uh, while we're setting up, we'll each cover our list, or talk about our list for a moment, and what we're actually flying. Okay, so I'm 99 points, Andrew is 100 points, so let's see here, you're a 7 and a 6, yes. I don't think we overlap anywhere, I will take initiative because I like having that first placement. So I'm going to place that there, and while we're at it, Andrew, why don't you start out by telling us what you're flying today? Sure, so I just got a second uh, Lancer recently, so I've flown a Saj for quite a while. But uh, with two, I've been playing around with um, uh, with either flying Asajj with Ketsu, which is what I'm doing today, yep. or flying Asajj, the generic Shadowport one, okay. uh, and one other ship. Um, nice. But I've actually found this to be a little bit more effective. It's got some teeth. Yeah, exactly. Um, Ketsu always uh, intimidates me a little. Yeah. Um, just because the uh, that tractor beam token, uh, especially against these guys, can be really effective. Double tractor beam, potentially. Double tractor, so... <laughs> no thanks. <laughs> and, uh, <laughs> yeah. So what, what are you packing on that uh, Ketsu, then? So, so Ketsu has uh, Expertise Dengar for just free attack mods, because, you know, why bother using tokens? So re-rolls, double re-rolls on unique pilots with uh, focus turn-ups from yep. Expertise. Okay. And pretty much everything is unique these days, so Dengar is just the most, the best crew in the game. Best in my of, opinion. Yeah, yeah. yeah, his cost is nominal. <laughs> yep. And then Expertise turns it, so I basically don't need actions for offense, so I can either use my action to move the turret, or I can use it to evade, usually. Nice. Um, and then yeah. I have uh, the Shadowcaster title as well, simply because Ketsu shoots before Asajj, so it's the most useful. May as well, get that shot in, get that tractor beam token on there. Exactly. And then, this is where I differ a little bit from some of the Ketsu builds that typically go with engine. Um, I went with a little bit more defensive Ketsu in this list, so I went yeah. with the uh, countermeasures and glitter stim, which gives me the option of bumping her up to three and skipping yep. a target lock. Love that countermeasures. Yep. Glitter stim is kind of nice in that it does shut off expertise, but it also effectively turns that gives back the, on gives you the, the, the defense rerolls. Yeah. Like, right, exactly. So it gives me, de well, it gives me or defense. Or the defense turn up. Exactly. But, and it also gives me the attack turn up yep. for that turn. So then I got so much green I can clear it. Next yeah, exactly. So. It's not. It's a move point. Yep. Uh, and then I have Scavenger Crane, because why not get back countermeasures? And in a game in a game last week, I think I got it back four, four times, yep. which was also against a Mega Leader. Oh, so nice! Hilarious. <laughs> I actually really, really like the Scavenger Crane countermeasure combo. Yep. Um, I have it on my Dengar build, yep. and uh, always useful. Right. Always useful. And then Asajj is pretty typical. Uh, push the limit Asajj with Lats, uh, with the gyroscope targeting. And then, as my last point, I have Rigged Cargo Shoot. Rigged Cargo Shoot! Use my with fancy new fancy one. acrylic cargo shoot token. Right. And a pro tip for all the stream watchers here that I didn't even notice. When I got it and I put my other cargo shoot on to see how close it was, I was like, wow, that's not close at all. It turns out this is not a symmetric token. It's not. It can go either way. Right? And yes, yeah. Oh, because you can place it both sides. Yeah, you can see at the at the edges, it's yeah. just not symmetric, right? Like, yeah. so there's a pointy bit yeah, there, yeah. it's not. And so the original token actually has things on both sides of it. Yeah, and so then, you can deploy it either way. Exactly. Then, of course, it became an interesting rules question to me that's like, at what point do you have to decide which way up you deploy it? <laughs> so oh, wow, yeah. Typically, in the spirit of all the rest of the rules, I would decide before you put it down. Like, I can look at the board and put it down. I, I would say, yeah, on deployment, That's you decide top Decide it's there. there. But I can't be like, nope, doesn't quite catch you. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. It's, it's a minor difference. But anyways, I just figured that was interesting to me, so maybe it'll be interesting to someone else. Nice. Uh, so I'm actually flying uh, what is, uh, what I'm looking to be, to use in the league this year, uh, or this season, I should say. So I've got a uh, sort of a standard NIM build now. Um, with uh, Scum Nim, Havoc Title, Veteran Instincts, Bullet Generator, Accuracy Corrector, uh, Auto Blaster Turret, but I've also added Long Range Scanners, uh, and the Cruise Missile, and of course Genius on there to drop the bomb after I reveal, or after I uh, execute, I should say. Uh, backing them up, we got Fen Rao, sort of a standard non-mindlink -mind -link Fen Rao build with Concord Dawn, Push the Limit, and Auto Thrusters. And then uh, doing some shenanigans uh, around them is uh, Uncar Plut with space, space Tug Tractor Array. God, say that ten times fast. 
uh, pattern analyzer, Citraco Visago, and the cloaking device. And I'm sure if you guys see Citraco and the cloaking device together, you know what's coming here. You know what's going to happen. So uh, I've got a couple of different uh, uh, illicits to switch to. It's almost like having an illicit sideboard, which is incredibly useful. Yep. So it makes them an incredibly flexible ship to use. All right, so you're you're all placed. Uh, with these two asteroids. Oh, these, oh, you got these two left. That's right. All right, all right, all right. Well, hold on. Let me get that out. That's gonna go over here. I don't know if I have that in my collection. It's gonna be like that one. Yes. I think I have that one. It's fine. I'll give it to you. Yeah. Yeah, it's not a problem. That'd be great. So you keep like. Your last, last one, last one. Now I've had I've had a bit of a mixed bag with this build. It's done okay, but it's also um, dice betrayed me before. Uh, Unkar plot with four dice is awesome, but it's still huh? It's Fen Rao. This you either you know. Uh, Fen Rao, you got to take the risk. Like he dies Caesar. or he doesn't. Yeah, he's a god or or he blows or up. Or he right. blows up. Yeah, exactly. So we're all placed there. All right, so I'm gonna start with but in the last tournament. Unkar. I, I had one where I got a tokenless Fen Rao at range two of three ships. Quick draw, a tie defender with tie D title. Quick draw even, wow. I shot a cluster missile at it. I shot double shot with a tie defender. Yeah. And I had one other ship that, yeah, just a three attack. Oh yeah, it was a, a, a tie striker. Three okay. attack, did zero damage. <laughs> and the cluster missile got six hits, but had all of it, he had no tokens, just like, rough. and everything. It was range two, no auto thrusters either, or title. Yeah. Uh, rough, rough. It happens. No. Oh, I'm so a little me, sad that Unkar isn't going to be able to shift you guys with a space tug. You can still minus my agility. Well, I can minus your agility, but man, being able to drop people on rocks is just bonus. That's pretty good. All right, so my three is placed. I have a ten and a nine now, so. Sounds good. I'm going to go ahead. God, it always worries me a little when, like, between all of my ships, I have five shield tokens, and they're all on one ship. I've, I, I used to do... <laughs> Way, way worse than that, if you recall. Oh yeah, <laughs> run all the scum swarms where you have two shields total. Two shields, right? right? Yeah. Because <laughs> like apparently those they don't like shields. I like those little sick interceptors uh, way too much. So I just six are so good. Yeah. Oh man, I got a couple of sick lists that I got just just got to be brave enough to fly. Yeah. All right, there we go. Um, okay. Uh, Fen Rao, buddy. Fen Rao, where are you going? <laughs> I'm actually still trying to figure out total placement yeah. yeah. to figure out like what's the best way to put these chips together that I don't die immediately. It is interesting, yeah. yeah. It's a trick. It's a trick. Okay, I'm I'm set. You're set. Yep. Uh, let's get dialed in. Uh, you're okay if I start the timer? Okay. All right. Man, may the best man win. <laughs> or me. <laughs> or you. <laughs> I was kind of it's implying of that already. That, right? Yeah. <laughs> I mean, I've always felt the scum was just so appropriate because of their ability yeah. to just cheat. I mean, it's great. Like, it just fits my personality, you know. Yeah. Oh, I'll uh, shuffle my damage oh. there, Cap. Mm. Don't want all those direct hits on the top. Blinded oh, yeah, pilots, right. straight to the bottom. Thank you. Go ahead and, and uh, if you want to cut, yeah. do that. Cut that. That's what we're kind of going for. Oh, look at that! We got oh, matching damage deck. It's amazing. What are the shields? I love this damage deck. It's just so nice. It's so pretty. Everywhere I take it, people are like, "Whoa, where'd you get that?" Oh, I got it. Yeah. Yeah. Because again, you're gonna have very few creatures. You're gonna want all the like card draws, all the flyers, all your spells. Okay. okay. Unkar, I think. Unkar, yep. Lowest, lowest. Which is an, an yeah. asset for him. So. It is, yeah. it is. Um, if I could find a way to make him a zero, I would. 
Well, there's a crit yeah. for that. Yeah. Just gonna be a fun yeah, there's a crit for that. If you yeah. fly over asteroids long enough, <laughs> eventually, <laughs> I will get there. So his action will be to cloak up this turn. Yeah. yeah um, both of your guys now. So, doing a big old one bag. Uh, I have a, I have a few portal cards. And I'll just focus. Yeah, you either choose one or another. Uh, yeah, Ketsu, you're doing a two Forward two! Yep. That's incredible! Oh, that's that's fairly incredible. incredible. That's, that's actually cool. fairly it's slow it's for Ventress. Yes. So, yeah. yep. Your, your build on Ventress there is actually my favorite way to put her together. Yeah. There's, uh, I, oftentimes I'll just drop the rig cargo chute because she doesn't often need it. I've played with options. If I was only, if I was only doing one, sometimes... So the thing is, like, you can trade up should you PTL or should you do something like Dengar for mods or whatever instead. Yeah. But the advantage of PTL is that you can use your... You can get two tokens. You can use your focus and evade both on defense if you need to, right? Um, so the advantage of PTL over those... Disadvantage, of course, you have stress, but the advantage is it lets you be even more defensive. I have considered putting lats on the opposite ship as well just to mess with people. Just to hurt them a bit. Just to mess it so that it's like, okay, I saw a little easier to kill, but it makes Ketsu or someone harder to kill. Uh, but the problem is, as soon as one ship dies, you lose the entire benefit of it. You lose all of it. Yeah. Yeah. Whereas, Asajj in the end game with Lats and PTL is like... I was looking at something similar with Nim and then uh, uh, Cad Bane on a different ship. Mm -hmm. But as soon as that, as soon as Cad Bane is gone, yeah. you regret spending that three points to put him in there. So. Yep. Yep. Alright, and then uh, last but not least, Captain Nim. Yep. Uh, gonna reveal a bomb off the board. Yep. Okay. Why not? <laughs> Actually, that was a question that came up on a recent thing, too. If I saw that. In, I think it was in Minor. Board, yeah, if, you, yeah. if your bomb is partially on the board, if it stays. Yeah. But does it stay if it's off the board? No. I think the answer is no as well. The answer is definitely no. Because yeah. so, yeah. uh, if, if, if it's outside someone, of the play area, right, yeah, yeah, exactly. it's gone. Yep. You sent your you just sent your bomb to hyperspace. Speaking of that, I, I came into a situation and then we in, all focus. in a game the other day. No, we won't. That I never hit where it was tactically the right choice to fly my ship yeah. off the board. Huh? I'll, uh, really? I'll let you guess at what situation that could be. Uh, I actually have no idea. I can't think of any reason that it would be tactically advantageous to fly off the board. Yeah, I had one health left. Okay. And I was against Whisper with advanced cloaking device. Okay. And Whisper was not cloaked. Okay. And Whisper was ion. I was going to go over an asteroid. Okay. So Whisper was going to get a shot and probably kill my one health ship and therefore recloak and get a focus. Oh, so, so the tactically advantageous thing is. If I fly to get off, off, Whisper is just there with two agility and no, no and focus. No chance and I to kill shoot. Her. Yeah. Oh. I haven't been able to work. Ooh, that's out. tough. That's a risk. risk. But yeah, yeah it was. It, I mean, it, the thing is, she had a target lock, so it was a pretty high probability she was going to kill me. Nice. Yeah. So, yep. so there we go. I barrel rolled with him. Uh, end of combat. Yeah, I'm not going to be on here, so. Uh, end, uh, end phase. I'm going to Citraco Avizago to get rid of the cloaking device. Yep. And instead switch that out. Let me see here. A bunch of good options. I think I'm going to go with Black Market Slicer Tools because yeah. that uh, push the limit on uh, yep. Ventress yep. is pretty awesome. So there's my BMST. Yeah, and that's gives what, me options with my actions, absolutely. So. It's one of the best swaps too because committing to BMST will often be useless in a lot of lists. Yeah. But if you can decide to go to it when you see the list, it can right? be super strong. I, I like that. I really like the ability to just yeah. be like, nope, doing this. Absolutely. And so now, as long as I don't uncloak, I get to keep that cloak token. You do indeed. Okay. I will try to remember to ask you if you're going to decloak every turn, but just shout it at the start of that. Uh, I, I guess he, actually he moves first. So it's okay. He does. He does. So it's really, as long as I'm doing it before I reveal my dials, yeah, it's exactly. still start of activation. It's fine. Yeah. So. yeah. When he doesn't move first, it's always that awkward timing. Yeah. Oh, boy. Oh, on car. Oh, on car. Do you just charge in there hard now, or do I wait until the right moment to use you? No. <laughs> no. You just do what you do, buddy. I think uh, I was saying I really enjoyed the last tournament here playing my all offense Imperial list because yeah. it's very calming, right? You're like, is the right decision to attack or to defend? And with that list, there it's is always no, to attack. There, yeah. You don't have to make a decision. Always strike. Like, okay, right? what's yeah. the most yeah. offensive yeah. action I could take? Yeah. Do it. Yeah. Do that. Yeah. I haven't put the new, yeah. card, the new new cards in, yeah, that's right. but we, we, we did go through and take some things out and put some things in. Well, that might work. We did rip that with both that. Mm -hmm. 
But if not, I'm still going to play with my garbage deck. It doesn't matter if I sing yeah, I mean, oh, Zerbo's man, Quantrapper's dial is so weird, and I've, it's totally as much weird. as I've flown this ship a ton of times, I still have no idea what to do for his maneuvers half the time. Not having one bank is the weirdest thing. It is the weirdest! Especially when you're trying to line up a tractor beam, you're like, if I turn hard, it's still <laughs> Right? It's not often, it's not often, though. It's part of why I did the pattern. You do have a pattern, because that helps a lot. <laughs> oh, man. People are always like, oh, don't do pattern, do prime thrusters. I'm like, but I want to do more than barrel roll. Exactly. Yeah. It depends what you're doing. Like if, you do, if you're dropping bombs, if I wasn't putting the space or something, tugging, then it's fine. But space tug, the whole point is to use that. So. Exactly, exactly. If I wasn't space tugging, that would be a very different story. Yep. Agreed. Oh, such a shitty dial. <laughs> okay, okay, I'm ready. You ready? Go ahead. Ankar is just going to do a bank three. I do like, actually, I find the point that I end up using backing up the most is on the initial engagement. And that sounds very strange, right? But people who are familiar with the whole Rule of Eleven thing will have counted it out, right? Rule of Eleven? Yeah, it's Eleven, like, oh, 11, movement 11. things yeah. across the edge. So people who are familiar with trying to get exactly the right range are used to that. Um, and so, uh... Um, well, otherwise they go over the yeah, Rockies' totally, turn, right? Totally, yeah. So. And so they'll, uh, okay. but they're not used to a ship being able to yes. back up to and then be at the range you want for the next movement. So. He's, this guy's be part yeah, I know. Okay. And this way, even if you end up hitting me uh, with that, you can't drop me on the rock, I don't think. Oh, uh, it's him. Okay. So he's, hmm? he's the one with the touch. She's the one with the touch. Oh, okay. So, yeah. You couldn't tell who was who at first. Oh, there's Ketsy way over there. Okay. Yeah. Yes, I mean, uh, there's some, uh, some good how much do I want that stress is always the question. Because now I don't care about it for the title for... I'm going to move that forward for my first action. Okay. And then I will push the limit. I know, but, you know, got to do what you do, right? For a focus. Okay. Well, it's not like I can use it now, so... Oh, but, right, but you would get to move before I do. Exactly. So, so next, ne turn, next you turn, you can use it if you want. Oh, you damn right! <laughs> <laughs> At this point, I think Black Market uh, Slicer Tools make sense until I can get Fen and uh, name in to start getting solid shots. Yeah. Uh, that's when you drop the space tag. Absolutely. Although, yeah, it's going to take some really serious hits here in a minute. Potentially. Yep. All right. So, so hold on, in action. Oh yeah. Sorry. Normally that's an easy choice, but sometimes it's a good idea to take the target lock. I don't think anything's going to happen, but even though I have Dengar, it's you got Dengar for the well. so You don't really need. The no, no, no. It's it's very. It's just that if I think it's a completely free action, then yeah. Like, Okay, Fenral gonna do a bank three. I'm gonna yeah, come around. Start coming around. Probably best not to joust this. So. <laughs> well, normally Fenral would be like jousting yeah. Yeah, and yeah. then arc dodging, but at this yep. point he's like, fuck this jousting shit. Yeah. <laughs> and so he will boost. Not enough. Uh, not going to PTL. Yeah, something like that. There's no point. Yep. Uh, and then Captain Nim is going to do a bank three as well. Yeah, because he has to be careful with double stress. Yes, he does. It's not like that. I got that R4E1. Yeah. Uh, what does that guy do again? Oh, I got Genius on him. Oh, Genius, right. Oh, sorry. R4E1 is the one that uh, allows you to do action bombs even when you're stressed. And oh, then, right. Uh, right. If, yeah, yeah. if you do if you do it, you can also yeah. throw so it away to get rid of the stress. Right. So when you do it on your last action bomb, yeah, you're like, cool. yeah, the cool. droid blew up. That's cool. I'm looking forward to those weird iron ion <laughs> discharger things. Too. Yeah! Oh my god, they're going to be so much fun. fun. Yep. Okay, and then Nim is going to attempt a target lock. Too far. Yeah. I mean, it's a pretty straightforward like, sort of task. It's going to follow along behind Fen Rao. Okay, that's uh, end of activation. Yep. Start of combat. 
No I shot. Power, I have a pile of things I no can do. Shot. Start a combat. Hold, 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 start a combat. Oh, start a combat. Mil- sorry, 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 sorry. Like my my <laughs> list should just be entitled "Start a Combat." So. <laughs> <laughs> I'll give you a stress. Oh no! Because then I have glitter and countermeasures so and oh, so yeah. Are oh, you gonna give him a stress? That's cute because he's and never so gonna shoot. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you still you, you gotta do a green if you wanna do your actions. That's right. It's still relevant. Might as well. Okay, uh, and I don't think I will do anything else on that. So. Okay, so no no shot, no shot. Because okay. uh, yeah, um, auto, auto blaster. Yeah. And I don't think he has shot. But a better measure. Oh my shit, that is range three. Yep. And obstructed. Yep. But goddamn, if I won't take that. <laughs> and when Fenrau's got a shot, you take it. Absolutely. Alright, so three dice versus your four. Or you can shoot, roll all shinies if you want. Oh yeah. Are they better or worse? Uh, yeah, they're average. As you can see, one crit. <laughs> the yeah. probability is exactly as described yeah, by the dice faces. Is what you're saying? <laughs> it's it's a, a remarkable. Two oh, hey, two. Huh. Okay. Well, I had to take the shot. Uh, seven. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Okay. I think you're going to end up being range three here. But... <laughs> yep. So I'll take a range three. Five dice. Which means I'm not. Uh, I'm not moving you if I hit you. Nope. So all, all but if you do stuff. hit, yeah. no, if you do hit, range two. Was it range one to two? Yeah. Ah, for the shot. So you're range one. Yeah, okay. Uh, to do. Oh, I'll take that. Jesus. I mean, with the double mods that I get in Crack City, always. The hell is that ball. crap, man? Like I said, as you'll discover, Ketsu almost always ends up at that anyway. And uh, wow, I evade one and take two on Uncar Flat. This is bad. He's gonna die real fast today. One, two. Okay. You, know, you know my opinion though. If they take a bunch of shots. Hey, these Do are a little shots. Tractoring, uh, yeah. That's the cost. Anyway. That's right. That's right, man. <laughs> he is there to die. Yep. yep. Okay. Uh, Ventress, I assume. Yeah. I think I can only shoot you as well. Yeah. All the. Uh, I moved no, you might. Forward. Oh no, because yeah, yeah, you don't have range on him. So take you. Range two. Uh, range two. Okay, one, two, three, four. You Come on, Uncar. Okay. Come on, buddy. We need a lot of blanks here. Oh, fuck, he's so dead. He's <laughs> so dead. <laughs> Already. Already dead. He's got a bunch of health. Oh! One? And he takes one. He's at one health. No, he's no, he? Oh, no, no he's no, at no, two no. health now. Yeah, he's got five, right? Yeah. yeah. Well, hey, I didn't die in the first joust. Absolutely. That means I may not die at all. Yep. Okay, so, uh, sweep tokens. Yep. Set maneuvers, because he has no shot, because cloaked. Absolutely. got so many deserts now. Yeah. Yeah. Wow, so shit on green. <laughs> yep, that's why I did it. That's why I spent an action on it. <laughs> This is where we get to play the bullshit game too, which is, are you gonna black market slice of tools my thing off? So do I have to do a green or not? Right. <laughs> but it's still 50-50 if you attempt it. So. I know. God, there's not a lot of green on this dial, so I may not. But you don't know whether I will or not, right? No, God, no, that's like white. That's but you have other tricks you can do, so... I do have other tricks. Uh, oh, shit! Long-range scanners mean I should have been able to pick oh, up that target. Yeah. <laughs> I even measured. Yeah. <laughs> But it's a little late now. Yeah, had you not done the barrel roll, it would have been like, just take it. But, yeah. but a barrel roll, so... <laughs> too late. <laughs> okay. Remember your damn cards, yeah. Dickus. <laughs> okay, it's on it, car. It's interesting, though, because... No, actually, technically... Yeah. That, that one's on the line of... Because I, I measured already. We should have forced it. We should have been, been allowed. Yeah. Right? Yeah. I say we we play on without it unless no, you want to rebarrel. No, no, no. Yeah. pain is but a wonderful general, teacher. That's, it's like rebel captive in that technically both of us should have enforced it yeah. because if you attempted to take it and it's legal, you have. Well, I have to exactly. So I'm gonna do a bank two with yep. on car plot and shed that stress. Yep. 
I don't feel I have a lot of choices there. Oh no, please no, please no, please no, please no, please no. Nope, you're good. Oh man, that was close! Yep. And now the question is... Do I space tug? Nope, 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 nope. Black market slicer tools, choose a stressed enemy, shift at range 1 to 2, and roll an attack die on hit or a crit. Deal that face down damage card. There you go, there you go. Worth it! Already doing work. Yep. Go, Unkar, it's your birthday. You can die real fast, like it's your birthday. Not quite as debilitating as a, you know, soon tier or someone yeah. going under the shield. Hey, that extra... You take it. Yeah, extra face down damage. Hey, okay. that, that's a cloak ship dealing damage. I'm happy with that. So. <laughs> okay, three bank on a side. The good thing about their Daws is that you don't really care about the whole, um... Ooh, that's close. Oh, yeah. If I don't do this now, she's just gone. That's tight. I, I fly these ships a lot, though. Yeah. And again, I got lucky. Uh, so I'll move this. Okay. And then I will push the limit. I know, it's crazy. It's crazy. Um... Just to bait you to do that again, but you know. So realistically, I want to push the limit. What will I do? On each action. I want tokens, though. That's the thing. Yeah, I will push the limit for focus. Okay. Got to do one bank. Oh, sorry. This was gone from last round. Um. Oh, shit! Yeah, I got fucked up. We'll take the evade back. I think I made a horrible mistake with Fen Rao. I'm going to do a turn three, which I think actually collides me with uh, Unkar Plutt. Which, uh, I'm touching him, which means I have no choice but to receive a tractor beam token. That's true, yes. But you don't have to move yourself, but you can move I yourself. could, I could roll myself out. So, shit. But that's at end of activation, yes? Uh, at the end of the activation phase, so before you get a chance to drop some. Before we, yeah. yeah. Oh, shit. Shit. So disappoint myself right now. Captain Nim is going to do a turn three. Going to drop a bomb. Yep. Hello, Nimlet. Sometimes you just got to eat the bomb. Sometimes you just got to eat it. Isn't that the truth? And unfortunately, just <laughs> saying. Unfortunately, I also have to smash into. If only the tractor beam thing changed. Right? Uh, and then I receive a stress. Okay. All right. So end of activation. That end blows up. Activation. It explodes. I don't know which we do first. I guess it doesn't uh, matter. I, well, end of activation. They're both mine, so I get to choose. Yep, sure. Me? So, uh, so nice. yep, bomb first. I'll re-roll this. Ooh, yep. Well, unofficial. And, oh, whoa! Two hits. I like it. I like it. Okay. And then Unkar Plutt is going to apply a tractor beam token to Fen Rao and roll him the hell out of there. I'm probably going to get racked real hard there. No, well, I mean, you're somebody guys going to get shot, of course. Oh, yeah. Oh, he's going to get shot. He's going to get shot real hard. Okay. Um, okay, so start of combat. Start of combat, yep. But they don't have the whole marketing book around it to have that kind of price support. Yeah, obviously, but if they did, they're trying to. Here's a question. <laughs> okay, okay. No, no, it's not really a question. I'm, I'm explaining for your audience's point of view. Yeah, yeah. Do I stress Fen Rao here? Does, if he PTL'd, that would be definitely yes. In this case, I don't really do much to his dial if I stress him. No, he's not getting a shot, so it's irrelevant for lats. Uh, now, and comparatively, stressing both these guys is useful. Yep. So. Stressing Finn is not a. It, it, he's gonna shed it probably next turn That's anyway. It doesn't. I mean, it's not a big. He can't three hard. I guess is really the only. Oh, is Finn within range too? I think he's is going to. But oh, we have, have to, to measure, declare have to first choose before and measure. Yep. Yeah. That's what I'm saying. Um, this is the question. Whereas Nim could get double stress, which is good, and Claw Jumper mm -hmm. getting another stress, it's good uh, because it means he can't back up. Can't back up. Um, which there may not be something he want to do anyways. He probably bumps into rocks and hard of fun. Rocks fall. Everybody dies. He's not getting an action. He's going over that rock anyways if he goes forward. So. 
Um, I'll five, load another one onto, yeah. onto him. Um, All right, double stress on Nim and range so two, which yeah, means Nim gets no auto block. I, want yeah. that cow. <laughs> I got no shots. Um, I'm not going to pop anything on Ketsu. Ketsu is happy. And, uh, yep. Okay. So open up, buddy. Let's measure some range. So I could take a ridiculously improbable shot on Fen. Um, range three obstructed, but also, keep, don't forget my true. Uh, increased defense dice, but auto thruster. So I would get two plus range plus rock. Yeah, okay. yep. um, or range three on Nim, which I could probably hit one or two. Or a range two on the quad. Finish off the quad. Probably the right choice. I mean, yeah. I don't think I'm at, at needing a hail mary on Fen yet. So not yet. Yeah. Not yet. He's he's a little out of the combat. You do you do eventually have to do that. He's, he's got a nice turn in next. Time, yeah. Um, the real question is going to be if I don't kill the quad, I have a decent chance of killing the quad because I got no tokens. Because I really do want to shoot Fen with the stuff. So. Yep. Okay. On the quad. On the quad. Got it. And of course, expertise. Turn up for three. Uh, yeah, there you go. And Dengar if I needed it. Yeah. Oh boy. Here we go. Over there. Sasha's over there, yeah. Well. I mean, I would do it if I had something. Not dead yet! Um, Not dead yet! However, you may be in a second. Like, oh, Jack Beam Token! Gonna push me forward? I mean, you're gonna do it anyways. Am I? Well, let's see if I can kill you off this turn. Putting me over the rock? Is there any yeah, advantage um, to that is the question. Is there any what, advantage? Killing me this turn, you mean? Anyways, and so he has... Making you roll this turn uh, versus next turn. Well... Right? Yeah. Uh, so no, because if I if, if you don't kill yourself right. this turn, then I open up your action like this turn, which I don't want to do. So I'm yeah. going to leave it. Yeah. Okay, and then I guess Ventress. Yeah. Four dice into Ankar. Yeah, I don't think so. I think I'm going to go with my. I'm going to go with that. Was it range two on? Range two. Yeah. So I get uh, two dice. Yeah. 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 Not too many opportunities on Fen, so. Um, <laughs> Focus for one. Wow. Well, you're uh, yeah, I am, and I only get two dice, and it's one. Yep. Okay. Okay, so that sweeps. Right, let's see if you can kill yourself next turn. Yep. We'll see, right? No. We'll see. Yep. Uh, Ventress is going to leave her arc at the end of combat, where it is. Okay. Oh, yeah, so end of combat, nothing there. End of round. And we're good. <laughs> What's the green on Skurg again? Uh, forward three, mm -hmm. forward and bank two, yeah, no, uh, and so forward one. Okay. So trading the entire I'm like, okay. So I traded him um, a lily okay. and like the new lily, yeah. the yeah. 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 And then I also yeah. traded him yeah. a vampire yeah. doctor. Yeah. Right. Yeah. Even though yeah. uh, Liliana... Wow, uh, oh, I really screwed right. myself here. Uh, even yeah. though Liliana by herself yeah. is worth as much as the portal. Yeah. 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 It's like, you know, you're building a vampire doctor. Yeah. 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 You know, yeah, sure. I think its value is just going to go up. Yeah. Because it's part of an anthology set. Right. Right, and that's the only place where it's printed in foil. Thank you. I'm being Tristan. But he did step with his own back. Oh, so he did come play. Yeah, he did. That's awesome. But I know yeah. I am good. This is a good hand. Risk is Should we? Oh, right. Sorry. I'm only using one hand. I'm like, one hand. I think he has to be. It's a good roll. Not a team. Sit up, Zemke. Yeah. Just think about it. Just think about it. I was like, yeah, no. Not the third time. Hmm. I mean, uh, for example, uh, I mean, yeah, 
I'll give it. I'll give her. I'll give it a try. So uh, I will decloak. All the stuff from Battle for Zendikar. And uh, they're all roll two. They're rotating out when it's long. Yeah, I'll keep this service. Okay, and then uh, I will reveal, which is a bank reverse. Fit her in there. God, it's got such a weird dial, right? Yeah. right. Oh, yeah, it's a bump. Draw. It's a collision. Okay. I'm going to oh, yeah, yeah. It literally fits Sorry. directly in there. <laughs> yeah. That's amazing. Okay. No action. Good bump. Yep. And stress, yes. Uh, hmm? stress. Oh, and stress yeah. for moving yeah. backwards. Okay. But... Uh, I debated Sorry. going hard in, but I decided not to eat another bomb. Mm. Mm. But I wanted you to think that I might eat another bomb. So. I wasn't sure if you were going to try and come this way. That's the thing. Yeah. I, would, I, would, I, I really wasn't sure, and I was like, you know what? I can't push him out. i got to push in hard. I would normally do that, um, but I, I just stayed two hits, so I got shell shock on the side. A little? Yeah. You're like, whoa, 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 whoa. <laughs> yeah, I mean, you're taking three damage now, so... Yep. Mm. Oh. I'm going to turn that and on the belief that I'm going to uh, kill, kill the action. Uh, yeah, and then I will push the limit to... ETL for a focus. Yep. Okay, gets you. I'm going to need you to mark that. Oh, it's only at uh, the, end of the end of activation is when I can do it. Yeah, okay, hold on. I'll, uh, you need me to hit you. Yeah. That's right. I was hoping that you were going to do something slow. Yeah. And I considered it. That was the other. That was the other option. Was just turning on stuff. Yeah. Well, that was my thought. Was that you might come this way? Yep. So. That's the other. I think I'm just taking this off. Mm -hmm. Need my epic stand. Right? <laughs> You're right. <laughs> Since this is not going to be a good okay. time. And then Ketsu's action. Well, Ketsu's was front, by the way. So I'm definitely changing that as my action. Um, and I will put it. <laughs> Ooh, it's gross. Whenever a non-creature token dies, I can exile it from the graveyard. Explains. From anywhere? Yeah. yeah. It then goes into Mimic. I'm going to put it back. Anytime I can pay three mana to mm -hmm. Mimic back. I'm going to put it backwards. Moving it back. Yeah, you're just going to finish off plot. Well, i got to make sure they have some shot, right? Yep. All right. So, uh, Fenrao is going to do a hard turn three. Yep. If a new creature that I want comes in, he goes under the bat. The one that was under the bat goes back again. He will focus. Mm -hmm. okay. And then push the limit. Oh, 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 yeah, range two is not where he wants to be. He wants to be range three or range one. Yep. Um, there we go. And then uh, Captain Nim is going to do a hard turn two. And be like, what stress? I don't give a crap about stress. He's not. Uh, he's not really concerned. One of yours in just yeah. He's really not concerned most of the time about uh, stresses. Thank you, sir. Awesome. There you go. Thank you for that. Okay, and there's yours. So no activation, nothing with him. Not gonna drop a ball. All right, start combat. This round, end of activation. Uh, Plot's not touching anybody. No other end of activation stuff. I Start will. of combat. Here's where we have fun. We'll pop countermeasures. Yep. I will also pop glitter and target glitter lock. <laughs> exactly. Yep. I will also pop glitter. And so give myself a stress. Okay. There we go on Katsu. Woo! Glitter counter. There we go. And Katsu's fresh though, eh? Yep. yep. So far. Okay, so what do we got here? So Nim has a range two primary. Mm-hmm. So three dice. And a three on me. Uh, one hit. Okay. Glitter will turn that up for one. Yep. Uh, Fen Rao. Three plus one plus one. Three man, you can't wait a minute. Fen Light. Oh, you're fucking kidding me. So do I spend the focus or do I keep it for those turns? You know what? No, one hit. If there was more focuses there, it'd be worth it. Uh, absolutely. Yeah. Oh, 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 oh. There you go. 
and things always end up as they're gonna anyways. So exactly, yeah. exactly. Oh, yeah. Shit happens and then we die. Yeah. I'd love to shoot first with <laughs> Since I can't. No, sir, no, you cannot. So you untap, upkeep, and draw. Probably get four no, no, no. hits <laughs> almost always. With that, that's that's a champion, yeah. You get a well, free evade, you have a focus, you're only like three yeah, dice. So you're probably yeah, you're going to try and just melt Zen? I mean, I could maybe put one in, and then Asajj gets a shot. She can get two ish in, and then your flat roll would be one ish on average. So I could maybe put two damage into Fen. Into four, and five. Four, Karamesha, God of Harvests. Yeah, I'm just going at strictly averages. Don't worry about it. On average, it'll be about two what between is, the two. Um, yeah. So, so do you want to get the uh, shots in on Finn? I mean, I have to. I have to are kill. Are you going to kill Uncar? I have to kill Uncar. <laughs> so, who's at a higher probability? Of He's it? just such a pain in the ass. Right? I mean, it's, yeah, I should be able to kill Uncar, but again, I'd love to shoot in the other order. Okay. No, actually, get the free evade on him, but not on him. So, I'll just shoot Uncar. Let's go for the, the easier one. Uh, the other reason, because I have to kill her to trigger Scab Yep. Yeah. So, so this is going into Unkar? Yep. Yeah. Uh, Dengar this one. And, and then they'll roll up. To that was a crit, four. wasn't it? Probably, yes. I don't think it's going to matter. But no, so it's four, I get two, he's dead. Yep. I just want to know. Okay, so uh, two hit, hits hit and a crit. crit. Doesn't yeah. count for hit, hit, and crit is thrust control fire. He receives a stress and then dies. Okay. Countermeasures comes back. I'll do my roll for scav crane here. Yep. On a blank discard. We're good. Okay. So scab is uh, scab brought yeah. back your countermeasures. Okay. Okay. Uh, I don't need to track your emu because you did fun stuff. So now I shoot fan, or I could shoot. See, I got the nice juicy range two, or the range three on him. Do you have a focus? Two evades on average. Twenty something points he just took off me, wouldn't it? I mean, it could be one hit. I mean, it could be whatever, but again, it's kind of in the one hit range. Whereas if I shoot him, he only gets two dice and no focus. I'm gonna shoot him. You just took twenty-two points. Yeah, you shooting him. Shooting him. Okay. Uh, range three. Range three. Yep. Two dice. Uh, two. Two? Okay. Hit and a hit. And uh, Nim takes one. Yep. Worth it. Still four left. Uh, I guess that's that. Mm-hmm. Sweet tokens. Okay, so Glitter's gone, counters back. Yeah. Yeah, Scavenger Queen brought your uh, countermeasures, countermeasures back. If only it could bring Glitter back to you, right? Right? <laughs> now, unfortunately, it good. can't scavenge drugs. If you could bring Glitter to <laughs> back, then Sabine would be viable. <laughs> Sabine so yep. uh, I'm going to leave that where it is. I think it's probably <laughs> as you. This yeah, yeah. you. You have a feeling I'm going to continue there? Because of Karametra, I get to get out a board to play first. That'll be Kets has got a pretty open dial. I know, but the question is, do I chase that? No, I don't chase down Kets. That's a really foolish idea. As ideas go, you've had better. I don't remember if I have the cycling lands. I don't think I do, but if I do, then I'd rather play that. Okay, well, I think it's your number. It is. Captain. Captain. Uh, you got green on four, but not on five, right? On straights? Yeah. Correct. Basically, two and four straight and everything three. And everything on three. Yeah. Such a Trying to figure out which direction I'm actually going with this guy. Yep. The last thing I want to do is reveal the wrong direction with Nim. Never good. Never a good thing. Mm -hmm. 
I mean, shifts start at 4 a.m. Yeah. Hey, uh, let's attack that. Because the team's starting at 14 dollars an hour. Okay. It doesn't have infect, though, so... Hmm. Hmm. They will trade, but I don't really want them to trade. I just have to be brave and hope that I've predicted correctly. I will take... That's always the fun. With Ankar down, I'm... Always a little trepidatious. Okay. So now I cool. I turn, untap. Now I look into your eyes and read your poker face. <laughs> All he sees is nothingness. My plan exists in the now. <laughs> yep. Tap four. Some folks will plan three or four turns ahead. I sure don't. I plan well, maybe I mean, one. If you're not in combat, I'll plan a few turns ahead. Right? Yeah, but if you're in combat, usually only one. And I, I plan two one at most. most. Yeah. yeah. Uh, it depends more on certain ships. I have to plan more ahead with uh, uh, with IGs um, with aggressors. Ah, yes. Because you can get them stuck in bad situations. <laughs> you sure can. <laughs> they got a great dial, but Absolutely. Yeah. they're just colossal. I don't like the track, so I can go die in a hole. Okay, no, me first. Right first. Yeah, go for it, buddy. <laughs> I got no uh, Unkar sitting on the sidelines right now having a beer. Blobfist just chilling what out. Is it? Yep. All right. So, thing. first action. I was not expecting no, that. I know. I was kind of like, eh, he's trying to try and get around the rock, but if he doesn't. I, I, better be I changed my mind on. I should have just put my thing backwards. I, mean, I, first, but I changed my mind on it, so. I will push. So, wait, did you rotate your. I did backwards, thing? yeah. Oh, okay. Push and then push for a focus? focus. Yeah. Mm-hmm. And then Ketsu. Actually, you know what, Bank three. Figured as much. And four. Yeah. And she's. Mm-hmm. Oh, sorry. Wait, what? Okay. I thought it was Ketsu. Mm-hmm. Oh, Ketsu will be. Yep. Okay. Oh, my God. Yeah, you got room for both of them now. Right. Hey. Yep. Okay, uh, gonna do. So uh, Fenrau is gonna do a bank two. Mm-hmm. Shed of stress. So I, have a six, seven, so I consider just running straight with Ketsu, but then I'd be given one wow. of them up. Um, and then he's going to. Barrel roll. Mm. Shit, probably didn't get me far enough. Mm-hmm. And push the limit for a focus. Uh, all right. Captain Nim, gonna do a bank two. Be like, guys, wait up. I know, he finally got rid of a stress token. It's amazing. And no. <laughs> He's like, yo, Finn, you wanna go home already? <laughs> okay. No action, kiss stress. All right, so start a combat. I'll do a Sajus thing. Yeah, I got no other start of combat stuff right now. Another stress on him. Okay, another second stress on... Yep. One round, got it. And do I pop countermeasures? I will not. Okay. okay. So... Yeah. Unkar is going to take his range through... Unkar, eh? Or not, no, Back not Unkar, from sorry. Dead. Oh. Nim. That's a range two. Yeah. That is a range two. Yep. Gonna go for it. Okay. Oh wait, it was start of combat. Are you gonna pop anything? No, I'm not popping encounter again. No. Okay. So, not this game. not this turn he says. So Still three dice, flat roll. Uh ah! oh! <laughs> one hit again. Range two, right? So two uh, yep, range two. And, and you're evade anyway, it doesn't matter. Yeah. I should have shot it in interest, but it's too late. Fen. Uh, Fen Rao has, looks like range two. On uh, Ventress? Yeah. 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 And uh, closest to closest is not obstructed. It's just outside that rock. So three dice. Holy shit, Fen. <laughs> uh, I'm going to hold that focus. Yeah, I'll roll my nothing too, just yeah. to get it out of the way. Yeah, yeah. Okay, Ketsu. Uh, I, I knew you had the mana for it. Range so two? Yeah, yeah, I gotta take that one. Yep. It hurt. <laughs> yeah, well, you gotta find Lark now, right? Um, Dengar these. Dengar those two for three hits. Solid. Yeah. 
Uh, well, there's one, and I'll focus for the second and take one. Shit. Shit. Can you drop a tractor beam token on him? I do indeed. Here's the question. Do I throw you on the rock? Oh, of course you do. Probably do, because it's 50 Because then that pushes me into range one of Ventress as well. That I can. On average, because you get your freebie. Oh, that's true. I do get my freebie. I only have one mod. If I had two mods, it would be equivalent. But with one mod, it's actually better for you. You're just going to hold it there at range two? Yeah, Ventress, honestly, fan at range two is It's hard to say. I think I actually will push you on the rock, because... Again, on average, you'll take one damage from the rock. So you're just gonna and it might be worse. Blocker. Yeah, that. Cool. So I was sort of hoping I could get you again on the next turn with the rock, but I can't. Okay. So I'll roll the die and one hit. Okay. Uh, take it. Definitely made some serious mistakes this game. Okay, now I'll take the range Ooh, one. Yep. I'll just roll so natties, I get three. Right? That's, that's what they say, right? Oh no, two. Uh, yeah. Plus. Oh wait, no. Plus two the plus one the free and the free of eight. Yeah. Okay, four for me. Now focus for two. Okay. So there's two. Yes. Let me get three plus the one. And wow, are you fucking kidding me? One. One. And I take one, and I'm almost dead. Oh, this is the worst. <laughs> I think that's it for me. Okay. Uh, let's leave tokens and set maneuvers. This is going this way, as you might have guessed. Yep. Actually, no, I did it too. I can't turn that. See if I can do it. Oh, that's right. You only no cheating. Speed too. No cheating. <laughs> okay. Yeah, it's not like you're worth. I Come mean, on. it's going <laughs> that way. Yeah. Oh, yeah, you have one. Oh, that's not a, that's not a creator. Well, you, you tap it and you want to tap it. Okay. Okay, so, uh, it's probably going to mess me up. That's my turn. So if I'm not going to use long range scanners, I may as well swap that for uh, a uh, guidance yeah, your turn. I'm going to. Uh, it was a toss up for me between um, LRS and guidance chips. Yeah, but here's the don't have enough. I like LRS just because. I mean, guidance chips is nice, but LRS gives you something to do on turn one. True. That's the main point. That's what I should have done. Yeah. Just for The main point is just on turn one, just take a target lock. Mm -hmm. um, because then that lets you get a double modded cruise. And a yep. double modded cruise is. Probably better than <laughs> it's up there. I think oh, I actually ran the math on this uh, the other day. It's if up you there with a double modded. Four, if you expect a four one, yeah, uh, then they're about the same. It doesn't really matter uh, which you do, um, whether you do have a target lock and focus or whether you have just just, just, just focus. focus. Yeah, whichever, no, whichever way it is, one mod yeah, and a and guidance chips down. is the same yeah, as that with four dice. Cool. If you're getting five dice, target um, lock's better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So it's like proc. Yes, it's better to have your double mod rather than just guidance chips. Actually, I'm going to do this now. I'm going to one, two, three, four, okay. and Okay, we're good. Five. Do it to it, buddy. Yeah, I really considered uh, trying to just drop this right on your face. <laughs> <laughs> but I wasn't quite the right geometry for it. Which so I'll just do the Lancer point, standard. The I'm just going to do a turn three, seven. she said. The Lancer life. Okay. Right? High speed maneuvers. Yeah, that there. I'm going to re-push. Oh, okay, and push for a focus. Um, yeah. I keep having to turn my turret this game, but uh, yeah, that's, that that's be good. Fine. Too hard that way? Too hard? Yeah, I got that for you. Thanks. I know, it's a little hard to reach across the map, right? Yeah. And then I will yeah. Then... Uh, this is going to go to this. And there's this. your action. Okay. If you're silly I'll enough to fly between you now, then I can maybe... <laughs> I don't know whether it was stupid or not, but I'm going to do a turn two. White and one. Yep. And I'm going to play... We have a lot of choices here, so... Yeah, totally. That didn't fly me over the rock again. Nope. Yeah, exactly. That's what I was going to say. I do shed a stress, and I'm nice and close to Ventress. You are indeed. So I'm happy about that. Uh, I'm going to do a forward three with Captain Nim. Why did I do that? Oh, no, I can't. Cool. Okay. That sheds my stress. You're unstressed. And uh, my action is going to be to take a target lock. I'll pass the turn. There you go. Okay. So Name drops a cruise missile. Hold on. Start a combat. Oh, yeah. Start a combat. First 
I'm gonna give Fen another stress. Yep. And second, you're not gonna like this, but uh, probably not. Yeah. Oh yeah, of course. Countermeasures pop your target up. Lock here. Should have just taken the target lock on Ventress instead. Nah, you, you want to force me to use it, right? Well, yeah, but because I mean, I'm just gonna save it. Eventually, it's gonna wear up. I'm gonna save it until you do your first anyways. Yeah, true. Okay. Okay, so Nim is gonna take his uh, range to three dice. Uh, that's a little better than okay. usual. Yeah. Two hits. So I got three, but no mods. Nope. Oh, are you kidding me? Yeah. Okay, Catching and then Finn Rao. Yeah, nice plus one, plus one. one. Oh my god. Yeah. It's just a flat, though, yeah. And, uh, god fucking damn it, Finn. A single crit. I am, I am dying so hard right now. Oh, that's what's going first. And this is one of come. the cases in which I think I might just... And lose the shield instead? Take the hit. <laughs> rather than give you a... And keep the focus to kill him, you mean? Well, no, uh, rather than take your stress. All of my tokens are going. <laughs> oh! The answer is yeah. your face. Yeah. Oh, no, because you got an evade, didn't you? Oh, no, you got... Oh, well, I gotta spend the focus. Attack, but that's, uh... And then you can leave the stress on it. I really want you dead, though. Yep. Oh, she's got that. She's got it. Come on. She was range, if she was range him. one, yes. Although if she was range one, I, I should have measured. Range two is where he does not ever want to be. So. I should I should have measured though. No, because oh, if you were range one, I could have moved you. Yeah. With Ketsu's ability. But yeah. Except I don't want to I'm gonna maybe regret this, but I'm gonna take it. Take the one. Okay. Okay. Okay, Ketsu. Ketsu! Finish him off. Range two fan. Uh, Demi Demi Gar. Gar. Yeah. Uh, two and expertise for two. Okay. I only got one left, so it don't matter much. Yep. Uh, wow. One. I take one and die. Yeah, made some mistakes there. Made some mistakes. And to be fair, these are not Fen's best. No, it's like the worst. to fight against. The worst. <laughs> All right, Nim. You gonna tank this two. off? Range two. Two? That looked like sorry, three. three. Yeah, no, yeah, no, I was no, going to say, what are you uh, talking about? The brain, what you talking the about, brain Willis? one thing, the mouth another <laughs> yeah. thing. You were just wishing it was range uh, two, right? Yeah. So Nim's going to finish this list just off one. by himself now. Not impossible, but... Not impossible, but highly unlikely. Uh, highly <laughs> unlikely. Uh, Nim gets an go. evade! Oh, Good Nim, job, Nim. Nim evades better than Who knew? Somebody died, so scavenge brain. Yes, absolutely. Get that blank, get that blank, get that blank. It actually doesn't matter at this point. Because there's only one I'm more ship to, to die, so it doesn't matter whether it gets two. blank or not. Or no. <laughs> Tap. Uh, yeah, so I just have to stay, as you might imagine. This is the turn before. Was it? You produced so much mana. I think it was the turn before, yeah. Yeah. So I'm going to tap these two, and then the float of mana with the soul ring, and then tap Stani to populate oh, this uh, token. Actually, oh, sorry, I'm going to do that, but I'm going to attack first. Okay, well, you get, you get a poison. I'm going to do that, because I get to poison. Yes, so I get two poisons. <laughs> so that, and you get a poison. Get two poisons. That, then she dies, I get to put her in the back. Oh, why not? Uh, yeah. Gonna die anyway. He doesn't have fun while I'm doing it. But I, I, uh, <laughs> so, since you're an auto blaster, Nim. So yeah, you just need to stay awake. Instead of a TLT, Nim. Most of your damage is automatic, so this is where I start, and this is where a PTL assage is good. Yeah. Because I start just taking the aggressive actions every turn. Yeah. Don't worry about the defense. Target lock focus, target lock focus. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and that's where, because Ketsu can, um, Ketsu doesn't have the option of taking double defense actions or whatever. She has built-in offense in this list, but sometimes it's better to tank up. Right on, right on. Ketsu doesn't, can't do that at the moment. I choose any counters on any number of creatures and players, and I give them all an extra one of them. However, I will take an evade just in case you end up somehow shooting me with primary. <laughs> yeah, right? Uh, Nim is going to do a Talon roll 3. It's kind of pointless for you to disengage at this point, so... There. Oh. Let me... No, no, it's fine. Both these it's easier for me to get him off the base. Both these so. uh, Nim's going to drop a bomb and hope. I think that'll be good. Tap Sabala. I'm going to parlay. Boop. It looks like that'll be all right, and then I receive a stress. Yep. Player reveals something. Okay. Um, 
Bongo's off! Bongo boom! So each player reveals. Uh, yeah, I'm not. Oh, uh, yes, bomb first. Yeah. Two hits! <laughs> solid, solid bombs! Okay, and then Nim, uh, auto blaster. Uh, hold on. Uh, Asajj. We'll oh, yeah, so that was end of activation. Now, start of combat, you drop another stress on him. He's really worried about that. Yeah. Uh, I'll leave counter methods, obviously. Yeah. yeah. Okay. Okay, so bomb's gone off. Uh, auto blaster. Uh, accuracy corrector into two hits. And take two. Oh, dear. All right, Nim. Oh, God, Nim. <laughs> I'd have six like that. This is going to be a little painful for you, I think. <laughs> oh, it's going to be super <laughs> duper painful. All right, four into, into Nim. Yeah. Oh, I get one! Currently. <laughs> yeah. For the next one, you might not. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Sitting on three double black cards. Uh, Dengar. Oh, shit! Yeah, three. three. So that's guaranteed yeah, so at least two, and, uh, yeah, that's three. Okay. One, two, three, and, three. and you're gonna Play fling me where? Straight. Track. Well, that was gross. Straightforward! Is that on the rock? Had in yep. my hand the whole Kay. game. Oh, I'm not gonna get a shot next turn, or I'm not gonna get action next turn, but... Well, you're double stressed anyways. Yeah. Oh. <laughs> I just you know roll out of way! And, oh! Shields down! Oh yeah, and did I get you to range one? Someone was playing with nope. that. Just out. Not quite. Just out. Uh, okay, so range two, but no dice for you. Nope. Probably an hour and a half. Yeah. One. Yeah. Well, you don't and Nim takes one. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Oh, way, it's it's got, oh, I had a God, target because I'm like, why did you, <laughs> you did. Oh, well. There's so many times where he'd play right. a bunch of Okay, sweep token, set maneuvers. What am I doing, Nim? What are you doing, buddy? Well, he's not getting an action, I'll tell you that. Sure isn't. Sure isn't. Yeah. You didn't get to do anything? Like seriously, He's I was probably going to take one more damage going over that rock. <laughs> yeah, yeah, and then I would have hit you with the bottom. Impossible. Uh, and the biggest question right now is where the hell is Ventress going? Good question. Well, it'll be a bunch of eight eight. Yeah, that's and a then weird like I had four collections. When you that figure said, it out, let me know. Seven, <laughs> right? Yeah, well, this is never that said, I don't got a lot of choices. Eight mana, eh? Hey? Hmm. That's uh, yeah. yeah. Uh, oh, I should tell you where I put my arc first. Oh, yes, two, three, or four speed maneuver. Yeah, I can go backwards. Yeah, I mean, like I said, I had answers. Or, sorry, three, four, five yeah. speed. Three, four, five. That's right. Minimum three. Backwards. 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 Well, that's super. Kind of tells me where you're going. It was. Does it? All it does is I know, right? <laughs> I've used that. I'm mean, like, oh, I turn my arc, and then I go over here. I can always mess with it, yeah. But it's it's you know, better when you're lower pilot skill, though, because I can always just move it if I need to. Yeah, that's a pretty good start. Yeah. I'm like, I've got all my mana online. Now I have Fistani. Now my deck's online. Because like, I just throw yeah. things, I gain a bunch of life. I mean, yeah. doesn't matter with that deck. Exactly. I didn't really care with the life for that game, but yeah. I just had to slow you down again. I was going to still be stoning. I had to be able to spit out some cigars at that point. Yay! Nope. <laughs> <laughs> oh, the cigars just... Yeah, so the new Planeswalker Legendary Rules. It's going to be interesting to see what, how it changes. Yeah, how Planeswalker is way. Boy, what it means is going to be more planeswalkers. Got a feeling Ventress is coming left. Three, 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 four planeswalkers. Just a feeling. Yeah. Speculating that. Just a feeling. Because right now, um, okay. They're actually nope. 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 Nope.
Uh, and take nothing. Woo! It was that second die? If I'd rolled that first die properly, it would have been. Right. Damn. Right. Sorry to combat. Let me give you a stress back. Uh, oh, thanks, man. You're welcome. There we go. Massage is nice that way. I don't think I'm in one of you. Oh, wait, wait. After I reveal, oh, drop a bomb. or after I execute, Absolutely. I will drop the bomb. Yes. And then you'll apply the stress. Ah, yeah. oh, it's going to be too far away. <laughs> Worth dropping anyways. You, you know, you drop yeah. Just outside, yeah. So it goes off and nobody takes damage. And I think you're stuck with the primary here. Yeah, I'm going to be stuck with the primary. Okay, so Nim's going to take his three dice primary obstructed at Ventress. Yeah. Uh, was that, two? I think so, yeah. yeah. Just making sure. Yep. Uh, well, that's not bad. Not bad. Two hits. Not bad. Okay, so obstructed yeah, so three dice. Yep. <laughs> Fuck off. Yeah, You're just flatten it today, man. I mean, there's no way for me not to evade it because I can take this and I can yep. do all that. But yeah, I know, I know. But there, there, are those uh, those lancers. Okay, so range two from Ketsu. Yep. Yeah. Uh, Dengar. She can three hits. Yeah. Three hits. Uh, roll one. I don't play her very much anymore because it's like. Uh, wow, I take I two and I'm, I'm almost dead. You're going to finish me off with Ventress here. Like it's just not Probably. Even well, one uh, you going to move me? You only have one target for her abilities. Yeah, Probably. So like, I play her and you can put me up into that debris. You're dead in two turns. I don't think I, I can like, get you wow. on the debris. Sure, you can. Might be able to get you range one. If you barrel roll me to the right forward. Maybe. Yeah, well, we'll give it a try. Hope to get you to range one, anyways. Yeah, yeah, See, it's fine. totally gonna be on the yeah, 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 right. Right. So I receive yet another stress. <laughs> yeah, that part is kind of relevant at this point, but you know. <laughs> well, it just I means think, like no actions for Nim till he dies. I think the key is that I get you Tilly to, to range one unobstructed here. Yeah, and I do not take a damage. <laughs> okay, so range one unobstructed. Yep. yep. Yes. And finish me off. Yep, I got double mods. Should be good. Spend target lock. Yep, so two hits and a focus so far. Target lock that up into a crit. Focus up for uh, no dice, enough. No dice, no dice. Oh, no dice. That's right, and I'm dead. Yeah. Well, yeah. Apparently, I just got to learn how to fly better. Get uh, it's, 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 oh, God, it's Like I said, it's not the best matchup for your list. No, but on the same token, if this is what I'm planning to take to the uh, uh, league, I'm going to be facing a whole bunch of different lists. Yep. i got to know yep. how to fly. I don't think you're going to face... I'm going to predict you won't face any other double lancers, though, because I don't know of anyone else in our group that has to. No, but I would not be surprised instead of Ketsu, uh, Dengar. Yes. Yeah, you can do that. I would, I would definitely say we're probably going to see a Dengar... Uh, Dengar, Dengar, Dengar and Asajj. I haven't seen many Dengar. I don't know why, though, because, like, that fits really Double well. Double expertise. Yeah. They just yeah. rack face. Or the thing is, like, or Asajj is relatively inexpensive, so you can fit an expensive Dengar. Sure. In there. Like, it's like this list. You can do a countermeasures and uh, uh, scavenger crane on uh, Dengar. Dengar so. No, I mean, this list, you have too With many points. You have, kind of have too many points, right? So yeah. you could easily upgrade to a Dengar or something. Well, thank That's you for the point. game, yeah, sir. Thank you. Absolutely. And uh, so there you have it, folks. Uh, if you're watching, watching this don't forget to like and subscribe leave a comment let me know if i made any mistakes uh, gameplay wise i know what mistakes i made uh, me revealing my dials wise so other than long range scanners other than long range scanners yep i'm gonna remember that next time um and i like your build i really like it it's actually uh, I've, I've been wanting to pick up another shadow caster for a while and uh, kind of think i might do that before uh um the uh guns for hire drops so Right on. So thanks a lot, guys. We'll see you next time here on the mat.